The Sri Lankan government has swung into damage control after a major diplomatic blunder. Officials in Colombo have hurriedly removed a derogatory article against Jayalalitha and Narendra Modi from the Sri Lankan Defence Ministry website. The derogatory article has united the Tamil parties who are all demanding stern action against Mahinda Rajapaksha's government, the issue even being raised in the parliament. My chief minister has been writing repeated letters to the Honorable Prime Minister. Yeah. And the solution which she has been suggesting for lasting uh, thing is the retrieval of Kachatibu. But uh, what is worse today is, sir, a private individual in Lanka has written an article. That is, we don't bother about that. But that article has been put in the website of the Lankan government defense ministry, which is very derogatory to the chief minister of Tamil Nadu. That is that government. I ask that the government of India should take up this matter immediately okay. because it concerns the sovereignty of this country. Okay, Acha. The leader from AIA DMK uh, raising the issue in the parliament, requesting the government to take some action, some stand on it. Lung Sri Lanka, on the other hand, has already swung into damage control mode. That the visuals they are showing you a derogatory article on Jay Lalitha uh, and Narendra Modi that was put on the website of the Defence Ministry of Sri Lanka itself, uh, and it was there for a while until a furor was created. We now understand that the article has been pulled down, uh, but uh, really the expectation and the demand there was that the government of India really take an action and take some stand. Let's try and listen into that bite one more time uh, from the parliament itself. Uh, my chief minister has been writing repeated letters to the honorable prime minister. Yeah. And the solution which she has been suggesting for lasting uh, thing is the retrieval of Kachatibu. But uh, what is worse today is, sir, a private individual in Lanka has written an article. That is, we don't bother about that. But that article has been put in the website of the Lankan government defense ministry, which is very derogatory to the chief minister of Tamil Nadu. That is that government. I ask that the government of India should take up this matter immediately because it concerns the sovereignty of this country. Okay, Acha. Uh, pictures of her linking her with Narendra Modi. Your immediate reaction? No, that shows the cheap taste of the defense ministry of Sri Lanka. That is uh, cheap days, uh, unethical and unwanted, unwarranted. She speaks on behalf of the Tamil, she speaks for the welfare of the Tamils. You may have thousand differences, political differences with her, but that doesn't mean that when she speaks for the sake of Tamils, we can allow anybody to criticize her. So it is it is uh, of cheap place. I have seen that article. It is of cheap place and it was written by somebody who doesn't know history. Kachatibu is a land area where there was a church built and it belongs to uh, the Ram of Tamil India. It is registered with the, uh, it is in the, the registry of Ramnath Brahm district. What we say is that when drawing the uh, maritime boundary between Sri Lanka and in India and Sri Lanka, they should have take, calculated it after Kachatibu and between uh, between Kachatiu and the land area of Sri Lanka, not including, uh, they should not have included Kachatiu as part of sea. They should have considered it as part of uh, land and the water beyond Kachatiu as inland water.